What's going on everybody? Today we are at the Bellagio. We're gonna do a room tour of the Premier King room, the newly remodeled King in room 17086. I'm sorry, 27086. Let's check it out. Alrighty, so coming into the room, uh, still has a good feel of the normal entryway. You do have a good size entryway space. Um, immediately to your right as you come in, you do have a full body mirror so that you can check yourself out and make sure you're fresh before you hit the strip because it's always mandatory to make sure you're A1 in Vegas. Across from the full body mirror uh, to the left as you come in, you have the newly remodeled bathroom. So before they had the soaking tub and walk-in shower, but now they have it updated to an enormous large walk-in shower so it's very very spacious so no to some they'll miss the soaking tubs but some may prefer an extra large soaking or uh, walk-in shower but very nice spacious they've got some clean updated tiling they don't have the full closed door but with the walk-in shower that big it might not be that big of a deal um here you have your um, backlit mirrors you've got the ring mirrors so lighting is really nice you do also have dual vanity sinks now with updated countertops, so that are clean. And then down below you have your towels and you have a hair dryer for those who may need it. Off to the side over here, you do have your vanity mirror. So if you need to glamify yourself, you do have the mirror with some nice lighting. And this also includes additional standard outlet charge and there isn't any USB charging ports. And then there is your toilet off to the side. So still no water closet, but does look like they did, they did some updating for the countertops and the walk-in shower. So nice bathroom. We'll start walking into the main part of the room before you get there off to the side on the wall. You do have a panel for the drapes and shears, but there's also one bedside. I'll highlight that momentarily. And then directly across is your closet. So coming into the closet, um, you do have a nice space in the closet. It's a nice size. I think it can get lights up when you walk in. So it's kind of motion sensor, which is pretty cool. Off to the wall, you have your in-room safe. So if you need to lock up your valuables, you have the space to do so. And you have hangers, some complimentary robes, and of course your iron and ironing board and the luggage rack that some use and some don't. So good closet space. Um, if you need to store things, you definitely have some space in there. And into the newly remodeled room. So. Um, as you see with the kings, they've got the blue wallpaper accent. The queens, I the two queens, I believe they have like an orangish colored. Um, that's gonna be a difference. But you also have this bright lamp right here. Um, there is actually a switch here. This switch controls those reading lamps up there above. Um, there's actually a switch under the lamp though here. So if you wanted to, I've got to find it. Uh, there it is. So it's over here. You have to cut that off, flip that. So I would think it would be the other way, but it's cool. Um, bedside, you've got a phone on this side and then you have you've got some drawers for storage here and on the other side, but we'll get there momentarily. Of course, you have your nice king size bed, very nice bed with a footer at the end to match the accent of the wall. Across from your king bed is your entertainment space. So you've got a flat screen TV, um, nice clean countertop mirror of well, glass countertop I should say the see-through um, and then down here below is your mini refrigerator but of course it's not an empty mini refrigerator refrigerator it is a mini fridge with some alcohol so if you need to purchase those things they'll just charge your car use it checked in and those are just some additional options and then you have some more drawers here below and over to the side here, you have your ice bucket and cups and even some wine glasses. So very convenient for the drinkers. Now over here on this side, um, again, this is just uh, same as the other side. You do have an iHome clock radio. So if you have an iPod or some type of media device, you can hook it up there. More drawers here as well. But on this side by the bed, you can actually control the drapes and the shears. And I'm actually going to open them all the way because we want to take a good look at what kind of view we have. Um, this is a couch, so if you have extra guests, there's a space for them to kick back and relax. Um, and that's also updated. And we probably should move this chair out of the way because this chair for your dining room table looks like it's in the way. 
in the way for your dining room table. But as you see, you do have a chair here. You've got your dining room table. Um, this comes with the welcome kit that a lot of the hotels are doing. With the sanitary measures, you also get a face mask, hand sanitizer, all that good stuff. And then you've got like an extra stool over there. So if you need it, you got it. Um, here is a switch on this switch. If you wanted to do some work, this would be a good place because you do have USB standard charging ports and your standard outlet charging. So that is very convenient for those who may need it. And for the finale, you have your view. So you actually get like a city and pool view and it is extremely hot. So as you can see, you've got the hotel pool um, or the hotel pools, I should say, and they are being utilized because this is the perfect day to use the pools. You can also see the back of the strip and the city over there. And that's going to do it for this video. If you all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.